Well, we're gonna do a quick inside project right now. Um, right now we're in the middle of Saturday, having a tail side of a hurricane. But um, as you can see here behind me, we got the fireplace here. That's the chimney that goes upstairs. This isn't gonna be permanent, but we need to set it up because winter's coming. Um, we've moved the computer from over here. We're gonna put a tiny wood storage thing over here. And we're going to put a, some sort of fire coating on this wall over here, tile or, or stone it or something. It's not permanent. Um, and also something around the floor, obviously. So this um, is safe all winter. But uh, they used to have a piece of plywood underneath the bottom here and the tile sitting on the plywood and then this sat up on there. And then if you walk by, you hit your toe on it. So we're gonna make the tile here level with the floor um, to not cause any issues. Also, Come up over here on the side of this pantry. We're going to um, we're going to cover that too because it's obviously wood and trying to be safe about this. So we're also going to finish off the wall and probably change the trim around that door and redo the door. The door is put in very poorly, even though it does work. We'll see what happens when we get there. Um, so we'll finish off the wall and finish everything in there. Set up this wood stove. Um, get ready for winter and. Um, we're just gonna go from there, I guess. So, to get started here for tonight, Saturday night, hurricane night, we've cut that out. We did it with the nose of the Sawzall. And under here, everything is fairly new, it's planked. And then plywood. And I have no idea what that is, but there is a wall that runs there, so we will uh, do a little bit more investigating. But anyways, the plan is, at this point in time, is I'm going to build a stone wall there up to about this area. We're going to put a, you know, a mantle on it for the fireplace. Home hardware uh, didn't even have a stone board anyways, or concrete board, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna take care of this. We gotta get this set up here, winter's coming. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. This is gonna be a fun little project here. So the good part about doing it this way um, and where we are in the house is the beam underneath the house runs directly underneath there. So it's gonna be okay that we're gonna put a 200 pound 250 pound wall right here of stone we're gonna leave a one inch airspace um, on the wall itself this here is not a wall this is pantry which will one day be removed um one week shortly actually but we're gonna build the wall in front of this for now because we don't know exactly when we're gonna remove it so it won't be attached to this the wall will have a mesh that comes out from here that will extend that out to here, which is only 11 inches. So, hey, if you don't like it, give us a comment, tell me what you'd do, because we're putting in a fireplace right here. Our chimney's already there, runs all the way up through the roof, everything's already set up, and then although this is not where we're going to keep our fireplace for the house in the future for a year or two it's gonna be here so we're gonna make something cool stay tuned okay so it's 10 after 8 at night what we've got here we've cut out the floor we've put two uh, stained pieces of pine in and some sheeping fence so the plan here is we're going to block this up with stone from the property to make a, uh, a barrier. We're gonna leave a one inch air gap at the back. Um, it will not be connected to this because this is cabinetry over here. So that airspace is gonna run below or back probably about an inch in to the two by six. 
and that will allow us here to uh, close this up and make it so we're good for oh there's Aiden hello Aiden how are you hi Um, the plan is just to keep the heat off the wall. Um, we're going to also a put a tile. No, push the button. I was hammering on the wall and I hit the reset on it. Let me show you. Hold on. Ooh. That little button right there. That's nifty. It's not nifty. It just shouldn't have popped off when we hammering on the wall. But anyways, it did. We're going to take the electrical outlet. We're going to move it out to the face of the brick here. So we have an extra little outlet behind here so if we want to plug a fan into the back of the fire, wood stove or something i don't know um we're gonna keep moving along <laughs>
So as you can see, this makes a absolute mess, but um, we're working our way up here. Liking it. I was gonna bring this down a little bit, but I've decided not to, I don't think. This sits right at, when it finishes off here with a three inch piece will be 48 inches right on at four feet. Um, We have our airspace back there. The airspace runs through the whole thing. Definitely over here by this. This is a cabinet. So we're not trying to touch that at all, which we definitely aren't. And there's an airspace that goes all the way back through there, which is good to keep the heat off the wood because the wood stove is gonna sit right in front of this bad girl. If you've made it this far into the video, please subscribe, you know, like, share it with others. We're, uh, we love doing this. This is fun. My dogs are chasing things. This is fun for us. Um, I like making videos. I'm always constantly doing stuff. So uh, please subscribe, share with people. Help me out.